Hey everybody, this is Dead Pixels. Uh, earlier in the week, user CRTCade wanted me to show you how to rotate the rotation mechanism in the Capcom, Capcom Q25 candy cabinet. So I'm going to pop it open and just show you how easy it is to do this. Alright, so first you just have to unlock the monitor door. Like so. Alright, you'll see the monitor doors up on these two arms here. What you're looking for is the wing nut, which is right over here. And you just need to loosen this wing nut. You can see there's a remote board for the monitor on the side too, which is pretty handy if you want to change anything on it. Alright, pop the wing nut out. And you'll see a pin right here. Just so you know, I have it already in the vertical orientation right now. I popped out my Street Fighter Alpha 3 PCB for Strikers 1945. Um, anyway, just pull this pin and it rotates. Simple as that. Fire it up so you can get a better look. One thing that's pretty cool too is uh, you can see the bezel is actually just this plastic that fits in on grooves and you can flip it either way to the vertical or horizontal orientations. And there's strikers there in the horizontal orientation. Obviously I want this vertical so again just pull the pin, swing, and there you go. Then all you gotta do is knock these arms back up. easier with two hands and you're all set now one thing worth noting is there's only out of the dozen cabinets Q25's that came in this group by I got this machine in only two of them had the rotation mechanism built into the cabinet the other ten didn't have any kind of rotation mechanism um, I'm not sure if it's because this cabinet as you can see the serial number is pretty low, 654. I don't know if only the earlier models actually had the rotation mechanism or if they were added after they were manufactured. But anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. That's how you rotate a Capcom Q25. Uh, might be easier to find like a Taito Egret 2 that rotates. I think getting a hold of one of these guys are pretty uncommon. But yeah, that's how it goes. If you find one that has a rotation mech, I definitely recommend picking it up. They're very sturdy cabinets. They're uh, heavy as hell. They're uh, wood and metal. I think moving this guy around was actually more difficult than moving my Neo Geo MVS 4 slot. So, just something worth noting. But, uh, yeah, that's it. That's how you rotate a Capcom Q25 monitor. Thanks again for watching this. Take care.